Joel from Moose Droppings by ImportSauce.com. Today, uh, we got some new horns off of Amazon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you what we got for 25 bucks and uh, do a quick install, a little product review. So it was about Christmas time. We didn't really need new horns. Uh, we were playing with our horns not too long ago when we did that external oil cooler install. These horns were pretty new uh, to begin with, but we figured, well, while we're at it, might as well buy ourselves something for Christmas. So we queued up the Amazon and uh, just typed in car horns. Uh, and the Farben uh, seemed to be the uh, most popular on there. Uh, this particular model, it comes, they have about a dozen color choices there, and they have different options in terms of, do you want a kit that has the mounting brackets? Do you want a kit uh, maybe for an off-road vehicle that didn't have any horns whatsoever, where it will come with wiring harnesses and relays and buttons and all that stuff? This is just the standard kit that we got in blue with um, just the standard bracket, because we already have bracketry and we already have wiring in there uh it did come uh with uh some general layouts we have some uh wiring instructions if you are buying the kits uh where you are putting um you know it didn't have existing wiring on there uh and uh kind of shows their different uh color options and, and just some different things there uh, this was, uh, what was it, about 1,200 reviews, uh, average was uh, 4.5, and uh, I think we were 23 $24, came in a couple days. Uh, so essentially, install on this one is going to be pretty easy. There is a single 14 mil uh, holding our current horns to the back of our little brackets there, uh, similar to this. So we're going to see if maybe we can just uh, remove this 14 mil and pull that off and then just put it onto the existing bracket that's already there. Uh, and uh, with any horns, uh, you will notice that there is, uh, typically when you buy a kit, you wanna make sure that you're getting uh, two tones, uh, the high and the low, which is uh, what will create that um, dissonance uh, because these frequencies are so close, 335 and 400. Uh, where the sound waves are going to crash into each other and kind of create that annoying, um, painful, uncomfortable sound. Maybe not painful, but just kind of that that weird, annoying sound. Um, and we can even see on here that one is marked uh, with an H for the high frequency. One is marked with an L for the low frequency. Uh, if you get two horns, like for example, if you go down to the auto parts store and you just grab two, like these were from O'Reilly Auto Parts, um, you need to make sure that you get the high and the low on there. Um, because if not, it's not going to be as effective if you just have two of the same tones. Uh, these two tones are going to fight e against each other and and uh, cause that, that horn uh, kind of disruption to your ears. The alert, something's going on where if you got two of the same frequency, um, it would still be a horn. It would just theoretically be two uh, horns working together rather than creating that that dissonance there. So uh, we're going to pop these in and show you what they look like. First one is in. That was easy. Actually just mounted up to the same bracket that we had and uh, the wire connector ends were exactly the same size as well. Uh, so since these were fully functioning and working, oh and I did see that when I uh, took that 14 mil off there actually was a variety of different uh, brackets or pieces there so you could configure and move stuff around should you need to. Um, I'm interested to see how these horns will work because both of these are going to be forward facing whereas the current or previous ones were uh, pointing directly at each other. So uh, we'll take a look and see what it sounds like after we're done here as well. Both of those are in. Let's go ahead and pop our grill in and uh, see how that looks with it in. Those are in. Uh, from afar with the grill can't really see anything. I mean, if you're up close about where I'm at, about 10 feet away, you say, oh, yeah, there's something in there. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to go with a red or a green or something weird. The blue kind of matches, but uh, you definitely see them in there. They don't look too ob obnoxious. 
Um, but, you know, just a little upgrade, just a little something on there. So let me get the car keys and uh, we'll see if we can hear what these guys sound like. We are inside the vehicle. I can't honk the horn from the outside. Uh, but it'll give us a good idea uh, of the sound because typically when we do honk the horn, we are inside the vehicle, not standing in front of it. I've already warned uh, the family that, hey, I'm not honking to get your attention. I'm just honking to test this thing out. We're in a pretty quiet neighborhood and the uh, good thing is the houses are so far away. No one's going to know where this honking's coming from, but let's go ahead and uh, give it a whirl. Oh, hold on. I was about to honk on the flesh. You would have been mad. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. I was close. I didn't see anybody walking by, but my neighbor would have been pretty mad if uh, I was honking on her as she walked right in front of the car. But uh, coast is clear, so let's go ahead and give it a little honkity honk in three, two, one. Ooh, that's good. That is actually probably louder than uh, than the other ones. And uh, the price is right. You know, I don't need to honk it again, but yeah, definitely louder. Has a good tone. Not a nine, not weak. Just just perfect. And for the price, the time on the install, uh, I got the link in the description. Quick and easy, 10 minute install. A little bit of visual appeal. Some nice, good uh, horn tone clarity. Uh, I'd recommend it.